All right. I want you to pretend that you are on a bike ride in the woods and that you are a lot of miles away from your house. I want you to imagine that uh, you're riding through the woods and that there's a lot of ice and snow just like there is around you here. And uh, then suddenly you're riding and uh, something on your bike stops working. Let's just say that something down here in your hub breaks and uh, you don't really have the tools to fix it. So now you're outside. As you can see there is snow everywhere and it's getting mighty cold outside. What do you do? First thing you got to do is you got to get a fire going. I know they say build your shelter, all right, but if you're cold, I suggest you get a fire going and then build your shelter. That's what I myself would do. I don't know what the television or any professionals say, but that's what I myself would do. I would get a fire going before I do anything. So, luckily we just happen to have this beautiful dry space here where we can light a fire very easily. I don't advise that you light a fire on top of the snow because that's just going to put your fire out. I know it's a pain in the ass, but the ground is looking somewhat like this. You got to you got to clear a place out. It don't have to be very big, just to where you can see the dirt like this where you can see the ground. The ground's still frozen and wet, so even though it's cleared, that'll all melt after your fire goes. But if the ground is really wet, or if there's a lot of ice, the ice is going to melt once you get your fire going, and it's going to put your fire out. It's going to stop your fire from getting really warm. So you want to make sure that everything is clear. I didn't really bother clearing this out too much. It don't have to be perfect, obviously, because nothing in nature is perfect, and God designed it that way for a reason. But uh, as you can see, there's, there's some snow over there. There's a little bit of ice. Don't worry about any of that. As long as there's not, like, like that much snow underneath your fire, I think you should be good. Anyway, after you get uh, your little space cleared out for your fire, you're going to have to gather up some wood. And uh, gathering wood is going to be a little challenge with snow on the ground because as you see, everything around you is covered in snow and ice. Everywhere you look, there's snow and there's ice, which that's another reason why I chose to do this video now. Because this is probably one of the roughest. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. What I was trying to say is that this is probably one of the one of the roughest stages of winter time when there's snow on the ground thank the lord there's not like a foot of snow on the ground that'd be really really difficult to get a fire going just gotta get down this hill without falling backwards and breaking my bones anyway what you gotta do is you gotta find some wood believe it or not single sticks like this will help you because look see how there's no snow there's snow on the end but that'll melt. What you don't want is right there, those big clumps. You want to just break that off once you get there. You don't want any snow on your fire. You don't want any snow because it melts and it'll actually put your fire out. Before I collect more firewood, I just got to give credit to whoever did this. They, I guess when they poured some in here, they uh, made a peace symbol and then they stuck the wood inside the cement. That was probably done a good 40 or 50 years ago, but whoever did it, they did a very nice job. I'm sorry, I had to point that out. I love the peace symbol, and when I come outside to the woods and I see that, it's just, it's, it's very nice to see that I'm not the only one in the world that wants peace. Right here is a nice dead tree that fell over. All this wood that you see here is dead and dry, even though there's snow on top. It's still dry, believe it or not. Stuff like this. It's 
very good to get firewood off of. Especially when you're trying to light a fire because you got all these little you got all these little fibers here. Uh, little pieces of tree bark and stuff. You can use that to light a fire. So now I'm just gonna pull some stuff off of this tree here and I'll uh yeah. I don't have much wood as you can see but I'm going to take you over to this tree real quick. I want you to see what I mean about the bark. I didn't want to drop that wood in the snow and record the video, so just walked back over and threw it in the ring. But uh, what I like about these dead trees here is the fact that you can... The wood is so dry and it's very thin. This stuff just peels off like paper. Little stuff like this. I'll lose that. Little stuff like this comes right off the tree. And this stuff is like paper, dude. It burns so easily. And it's dry. Whoever was here at the fire ring last left us some burnt paper. We might be able to use that. Thank the Lord, I have a bike that can carry a lot of junk, and I just happen to have some paper in the back myself. But if I didn't, there's some paper there, or you can use this stuff right here to get your fire going. Believe it or not, I bet you that tree bark will get your fire going easier than paper, because paper just burns and it turns into ash. That stuff down there doesn't just turn into ash. You know, it smolders for a while. It creates an ember like the wood will. Paper just burns away. Gives you a big heat, big flame, and then it just burns away. One thing to always be sure of is never, never dig your hands in the snow for wood because chances are the wood is going to be covered in snow. And if you dig like I did, now my freaking hand is freezing cold. And uh, yeah, you don't want that. Keep your hands in your pockets and only gather up dry wood. If you gather up wood that's all wet, it's uh, it's it's really not going to do you much good unless you got a really good amount of heat coming from your fire. Right here is a piece of wood, though. Believe it or not, this little twig just sitting in the tree is perfect for kindling wood. It's thin, it's dry, and it's dead, so it'll burn very nice. All right, so here you are. Pretend that your bike over there is broke down. It's freezing cold outside, your hands are cold, and the best part of all, the sun is actually setting. And you still do not have a fire going, but now you have your wood. If you are watching this video right now, then that means you have time to prepare for something like this. Alright, I'm not going to be a big shot and say I know how to get a fire going without a lighter because the truth to that is, I don't. I always carry lighters with me though. You know, you can get them at a dollar store, you can get three of these for a buck. Which I don't even know if this one works. Never mind, it does, alright. Always make sure you got lighters. If you're watching this video, then that means you have time to prepare. You have time to get what you need in case if you're ever stranded out here and you uh, need to get a fire going. Always make sure you're prepared. After you got all your wood, now you gotta break it up into small pieces. Yes, my hands right now are cold, but I'm glad they are because it makes it more realistic. You gotta break down your wood. This one's got some snow on it, but just brush it off and it should be all right. This one's real wet. I'm not going to use that just yet. 
All right, I didn't break up all the wood, but I broke up a lot of it. And uh, I took one of the bigger sticks that I have, whoops, and I laid it across here to a rock. Now I just got the little sticks set in here. Now I got that tree bark that I gathered earlier along with a dry leaf. So I'm going to grab this tree bark here. I'm going to place it underneath of here. Underneath of the wood. Believe it or not, the more of this stuff you have, the better off you are. I'm going to stick that under there nice and gently. I've got a dry leaf, but there is some ice on it. Just going to leave that there. Here's another. another thing is when it's cold outside, you want to get really thin sticks. Because uh, I noticed uh, making a fire in the summertime is a lot easier than what it is in the wintertime. And I, just my own theory, but I think that since it's colder, the wood doesn't really burn as easy. You want to try and find little tiny sticks like this to start out your fire. We got a little smoke and flame there, but I hope that don't burn out. And it did. All right, whatever. I got it to strike. Now, what I got to do? That piece of paper I was trying to light. I got mad and I threw it in the snow. So uh, I found a little piece of cardboard here. It's not too wet and it's already charred. So we'll see what we can do with this. Alright, I'm now going to attempt to light the cardboard. Whatever you do, don't let these lighters get too hot. Because the flints will melt. I myself kind of look at lighting a fire with paper kind of cheating, but I didn't really have much of a choice. It's that cold outside and a fire still is not lit. I just used a couple pieces of newspaper. I'm going to light up another one. I just shoved about three pieces of newspaper in there and still ain't lit. As you see, I used uh, newspaper and she still does not want to light. I got to tell you, I purposely did not wear gloves today because I wanted to put myself into a survival situation. And I got to tell you, it's getting really cold out here. So I got to find some thinner sticks to get this fire going before the sun sets. I really... I really want to get this fire lit because now I'm honestly starting to freeze. All right, all video and all that aside, I'm starting to freeze out here and I got to get this fire going. <laughs> I just found some furry stuff from underneath of this log. I'm going to see if that'll help. And there's also some dry leaves. All right, I'm going to try and get this stuff here lit.
Well, I got flame. Now all I got to do is keep that flame burning. That's the hard part when it's cold like this. Stuff doesn't want to burn for very long. Only burn for like a second or two. It ain't a very big fire, but at least we've got a small flame going. All right, the wood is drying out. See, the, the trick to fire is, is once you get an ember going, like once you get the coals on the bottom of your fire, <coughs> Sorry about that. Once you get the coals going on the bottom of your fire, usually your fire will stay lit. And uh, Lord willing, that won't go out. <laughs> but uh, this is what we've got right now. When you're out here, your faith is all you have. Trust in Jesus. So all you can do is trust in Jesus. That's what I do every day.